Welcome back. This is going to be all about warping. So in the first video, it was super easy, right? We just had to draw some shapes, some different little takeaways. Is again, we were really focusing on just those really, really easy basics. So we were talking about copying, copying and pasting, some different ways of duplicating out shapes. We were also just talking about as we were dragging out, how not to get that little pop-up, as well as how to maintain all of our constraints. So that's really what those key concepts would be from that first video. Keep in mind and that would work on most of those other shape tools. So what we're gonna be focusing on is all of our warping. Now let's do this. I want to click on APG number two. I can just hide my features for right now. Keep in mind this second year, we are just gonna duplicate. So don't fall in love with this first one. We are just gonna duplicate it out. I want to unlock my shapes and that is gonna be the one that I'm gonna be working on. So notice that APG2, it is locked out. I can still see it. When you couldn't see it, you could always just drop your anchor point guides directly underneath. So just in case it didn't translate over as I give you guys the files. So I wanna be on my shapes. All right, let's have some fun. I'm done yapping. So let's select the ear. And what we are going to be doing is basically I want to create a warp effect, then we're going to scale, and then we're going to do all of the inner ear from there. So I am just going to zoom right on in. Zoom is Z. So if I hold down Z, I'll get my little magnifier right here. If I want to move it is the hand tool. Now my left hand, I'm a righty, so my right hand is always on my mouse, but I do space bar. And spacebar is the little shortcut key for your hand. All right, let's come up to the top. I'm gonna to do effect. I am going to drop on down to where it says warp. And then I wanna do our handy dandy little bulge. Now, as we do this, things to just pay attention to, it'll always just, the default is a lot of the times 50% and it's always in the wrong direction. I don't know why, it's always in, it's always in the wrong direction. So underneath, well, let's just see what our numbers are. And this is just going to be, this entire video is almost plug and chuck. You're gonna, I'm going to give you the numbers and then you can just see what they are. So on the horizontal, we are going to go negative 15. On the vertical, we are going to go negative 25. So notice that we have horizontal up at the top. That is selected. And it's basically going to just mush over. So negative 15. So if I wanted to actually mush and just notice that I'm clicking on anything else and it'll apply, you can also click on preview if you do not have that. And we're basically looking for it to pop over. I am going to hit OK. So you might be able to see it. Let me just double click so you can see it even more. And what we're going to need to do is expand appearance. So just so we could do a little expand appearance 101 here is if you get this little sun basically we are going to be finishing the effect so the major difference is when we're talking about expanding versus ex expanding appearance here is your appearance window so i'm just f finishing any of those effects before i move on so just think of a expanding appearance as hey i want to finish this then i can actually do that now if you keep it live it's going to keep editing and keep applying as you do it. So as we go into more complicated things, sometimes we will keep those on and then we can modify that. So we, we did do a video with halftones where we edited our halftones on the fly as we were doing it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm rotating, I'm gonna use my arrow keys and I'm just, I'm not holding down shift, I'm just gonna sit there and move it into position. We're just gonna get you in the habit of just scaling, line it up, and we're gonna be good to go. So that was it. Now we're gonna do some easy stuff. So I'm gonna go Control C, Control F. All that was is edit, copy, edit, paste in front. So that is what I just did. I am on my black arrow. I'm gonna hold down Shift, hold down Alt, and I'm just gonna scale. So notice that it is scaling in the middle there. And I don't actually want this to be perfect. So I'm just looking at, hey, is this 
lined up where I want, and then I'm just gonna scale that down. Good, let's do it again. Command C, F. That was Command F, by the way, and or Control F, depending on what type of computer you have. And for this one, all we're gonna do is drag in. We're gonna drag on up. And I'm just lining so we get a little bit of a crescent shape happen right there. Fantastic. Hard part's over. Let's do our line tool, and I'm just going to follow that middle. Might extend it out a little bit. Okay, so we are going to do our cartoon brushes. Most of you should have those already, but just in case, I just got an email on where are the brush libraries, so let's just kind of do that. If I am in my brush menu, come on down. You're going to notice that it will say brush libraries menu. If I drop down to other library, I have mine saved on my desktop. And then I'm just going to click on cartoon brushes tinted and then open them up. And then we should be good to go. Now, if you needed to pause, go download, go pause. I don't mind whatsoever. So I'm gonna select a brush and what I'm looking for is that the fat end goes into the face and then we are just gonna mess around until that stroke gets good fat and fun. I'm just gonna drag that over. We might need it later. Now I'm gonna go control zero and let's just do control plus plus. I'm using my space bar. All right, all the hard stuff is over. So what I'm gonna do is I don't need this ear anymore unless you guys are really in love with the idea of doing that all over again. And most of you guys are gonna say, absolutely not. So a couple different ways of selecting. I can s just click on it. Now if I hold down shift and I just drag my black arrow, now I have everything nice and selected. And we could do your copying and methods of choice. For this one, let's just go edit copy, edit paste in front, I'm just gonna use my arrows and just drag it right on over. And I am looking to see if that, right around there, we are gonna come back and align these later. So I'm aligning that center right there. I am going to right click. You're gonna notice that it says transform and I want to reflect this. Vertical axis, just hit okay. I might need to just move it right on over. Boom. Since we did all this hard stuff, let's save it. Good. I'm gonna lock out this layer. I'm gonna come back to our features. I'm gonna turn that guy on. And then I'm going to turn on the APG4. You could turn off this one. And let's just do this so we can see it. I'm gonna turn off my shapes for right now. Okay. And then we'll build and basically finish building our little monkey. And then uh, we'll have some fun. So let's just do this eyeball first. I'm just going to zoom in. And again, we're going to do one of them. And then we're just going to copy it over. So first thing, I'm just going to click on my black arrow. And then I'm just going to drag that down so it's pretty much the same. And then we are going to add a bulge effect to it. All right, so we are gonna come up to the top. I'm gonna go effect. I'm gonna drop down to warp. And then I'm going to select arc. Now I want 5%. Let's just double check our numbers. So I want 5, 15%, negative 25, four is the vertical. 15, negative 25, 5%. All right, I'm gonna hit okay. Again, we just went, now same thing is true. I'm gonna come up to object and I want to expand. And then we're basically just going to mush. So I'm not holding anything down. I'm just going to pull those over until they line up as best as we possibly can. Good, I'm gonna go control C, control F. That was just copying and pasting in front. I'm gonna hold down shift and alt. And that's just if I want the things scaling together. So if, just remember alt, 
That is scaling from the middle rather than the corners. And then when we hold down shift, it keeps it in nice and pro proportional. All right. And this one's just going to be real subtle. It's just a little tiny. I is done. I am going to come over to my eyebrow. All right, new little tool. I'm going to go shift C. And just so you can see what shift C is, there is this anchor point tool. And what that's going to do is removing our handles. So it's just going to become an anchor point and it's also going to become a sharp corner. I'm going to click on A. A again is my white arrow. I'm going to select on that point and I'm just going to use my arrow keys. I'm just pulling it up. Now you could sort of line it up. It's going to totally modify. Anytime when you do the warping effects, just be aware that it does modify. We are going to come back and scale it. What we're really looking for is, hey, does it have the correct effect? Does it have the idea of, hey, it's, I want it to kind of do that arc effect. So I am going to come up, warp. I want to do arc again. Let's see what our settings are going to be. We are going to do a bend at 30%. Horizontal is going to be 15. So we're going to do 30 and 15. 30, 15, 0. So it should be nice and smooth. And then just come over. I'm going to hit OK. Same thing again. I'm going to go Object. I'm just going to finish that effect. So just pay attention. I could use my arrow keys if I want. If I'm going to be moving things, just be aware that I can't drag from the middle. I have to select my path. Notice I'm also on the black arrow. Now, right before we finish, let's just do a nice little tool, and then we'll move on to our nose. I am on the scissor tool, and it's hiding underneath your eraser tool. So you can just click on C, and it'll go right there. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom in even more so you guys can see it, is I just want a little subtle line going across, and then we are going to add our brushes to it. So I'm going to select it. Notice it says path. Path, 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 path. It's going to be very subtle. I'm going to select it again. And what you should be looking for is I have anchors, and I basically just snip the stroke. So if I click on the black arrow, notice that the top part, even if I deselect it, that top part is now selected and the bottom part is not being selected. And I can just click on delete. Pretty easy stuff. Control zero. So eyes are done. I'm going to drag that one over and we'll do our aligning during the next step. We'll pretty much finish it up in a second here. So let's do this. I'm going to go control C again. Control C again was our convert anchor tool. And I just want a sharper edge. I'm going to click on V. V again is my black arrow. And then I'm going to hold down alt and just drag that out until it lines up. Good. I'm just going to drag out an oval. I'm going to come up to the top, and I just want to do pretty much the same one. Let's do the exact same arc effect. So 30, 15. I'm going to hit OK. I'm then going to go Object Expand. Let's just finish it up. And all I'm doing is just scaling it in place. I am not holding down Shift or anything. Boom. Nose is done. We are just cranking. All right, let's do our mouth. So we're going to basically do the warp first, and then you're going to notice that it's just some lines and then two more circles for the tongue, another circle for to finish it up. And we should be pretty close to being done with all of the hard stuff. Maybe. Take that back. Pathfinder might be a little tricky. So let's do this. Let's do our little warp effect. I'm going to come up to the top. Warp. More than likely, that's going to be a bulge. I'm just going to zero things out. Let's just double check what our settings are. All right, easy one. Zero, zero, and 25. Zero, zero, and 25. I'm going to hit OK. And you can totally modify this. 
I'm just doing a real simple one today. But you can definitely get some different expressions if you wanted to. So I'm just dragging that up. I'm just dragging that up. And so what we're just looking to do is match up these two. And then we're just going to hold down my alts. Drag that guy out. Let's crush that tongue. Again, I'm holding down shift and alt. If you want to copy and paste it over, feel free. If these are a little bit off, that is no biggie whatsoever. All right, right here. And again, this is just the bottom. I'm just going to need the bottom. And I'm just going to be using my line tool. And then I'm holding down shift. And you're going to notice with our line tool, as soon as I hold down shift, it's going to be horizontal, 45, 90. Let's come back to our shapes. That has been applied. Okay. Oh, let's just finish it. I think we will, we won't finish it, but I do want to uh, bring this over. I can't finish this with an eyeball not being done. So all I'm gonna do, control C, control F. That was copy paste. Let's just drag this over. And what we're doing in the next video, just so everyone is aware, is we are basically gonna start to align things just to make sure everything's nice and centered for us. So I'm going to right click, transform, and I just want to reflect. That's gonna be the vertical axis. I'm just eyeballing it for right now. And I just wanna grab these two. And I wanna reflect. This is me getting picky on you. Those should be in the, since it's the same light source. Good. I'm not, and I just eyeballed that. Pun intended, right? This is where you guys boo me. All right, let's do, oh, is this on the other one? Let's, let's finish up our last little bit since I see them. We have our brushes up. Let's just slick. Oh, that was too easy. So I just selected both of my lines. I came over, and if it's the wrong direction, you just have to keep guessing and checking until they go in the right direction. That's how easy it is. And then I'm just going to make them nice and fat. I might need to scale them down a little bit, but that is perfect. Fantastic. So we are done building. So what we're going to do next is we're going to start to fill in our colors. We are going to start to align and then the next video will be Pathfinder, where we start to do uh, shadows. We're going to just clean everything up so you have something to work with and go from there. So let's just file save. That should have been pretty easy. I can hide all of my anchor point guides at this point. And this is what we are going to finish on. And then just jump right on over. And we will finish up our little monkey. So it'll pretty much after the next step, it'll look like the monkey. And then the final little Pathfinder video is just cleaning up some lines and we'll add on a little bit more shadows. But uh, we're ready to go in the next video.